Artie Lang is being sued and wants to apologize to Howard Stern. I thought I would just combine these two stories because the Artie Lang being sued thing really isn't that big of a deal. So, Radar Online writes an article, Straps for Cash, Artie Lang sued for failing to pay medical bills. Artie Lang may have turned his life around, but he's still struggling financially. Radar Online can exclusively reveal the trouble comedian has been sued for nearly $1,000 in medical bills after he failed to pay up. In New Jersey court papers obtained by Radar, Anesthesia Association of Morristown sued Lang on April 1st, 2019 for failing to pay $979 after several attempts to reach him. Alright, this story is pretty lame because it just, it, he owes him a thousand bucks and he worked out something where he's going to pay him $150 a month. Uh, I'm pretty sure Artie Lang has the thousand dollars. He just revealed on uh, Legion of Skinks that Ten years ago, he had $14 million, but now he still has $2 million. So, uh, this is sort of, a, I mean, even so, it's a thousand bucks. I mean, who sues so I don't even think you can sue someone for a thousand bucks, because the amount of money you'd pay a lawyer to even get the thousand would be more than the thousand. So, I don't know, I find this to be a complete nod story, to be um, honest with you. But this Fox News article... Artie Lang says Howard Stern did nothing wrong in firing him, wants to apologize. Artie Lang says he's finally ready to apologize to Howard Stern. The 51-year-old comedian was the famous radio host sidekick from 2001 to 2009 when Stern, 65, was forced to take him off the air due to Lang's drug habits. Speaking on the Aftershock XL YouTube show, Steve Grillo's YouTube show, Set to air Wednesday, Lang admitted that he doesn't blame Stern and wants to apologize for his behavior at the time. Artie has said this before and Stern doesn't care, frankly. I feel terrible. I'm going to call him one of these days. One of these days, Lang told host Steve Grillo and Jesse Nash via page six. Lang noted that recent interviews given by Stern gave him the impression that he feels guilty about the way things ended between them. There should be no guilt on Howard's part. Howard did nothing wrong. All I, all Howard did was try to help me, Lang said. I love him so much, it's a shame that anyone in my life would feel any guilt. I effed up. It's possible that Lang is referring to the New York Times interview Stern did in May, in which he addressed their troubled relationship directly, and that he notes that he loves Lang, but admits they lost touch, and that's my doing, Stern said. He added that he doesn't like to talk about Lang publicly, saying, I don't want to do anything that would rock his boat. Lang's drug addiction hit a low point in January. On September, yeah, yeah, we, we, we got all this. So, Lang wants to apologize, but let's keep it real. Artie wants to get back on the show. That's what the whole apology thing is about. He's hoping it leads to an interview, which I do not blame him for, but we sort of been through this before. And when Howard doesn't grant Artie Lang this interview, then Artie will lash out and start trashing him again, which I love because it's hilarious. And he says a bunch of true stuff. But, yeah, uh, I don't see Howard letting Artie back on the show. I think he should, but I just don't see him doing it. I mean, he has a puppet show now. Now, possible but <laughs> yeah I, I i don't see it happening not from howard stern i wish it would but not bloody likely so uh, i mean i doubt he even picks up artie lang's phone call and artie's like uh i gotta call him i wonder if artie even has his phone number at this point like, no one would think Art, Howard would change his number or, or he'd have to call his assistant or something. I mean, the last time they saw each other was when Robin had cancer. And, uh, that was the last time, but that was even years ago. So, I don't think it's going to happen, but I think it should, but not going to happen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you think it will happen or if it should happen.